All right. So as I was uh, starting saying, uh, Puerto Rico has a rich diversity of birds. We all know that. And it has been seriously challenged over the years with both natural and man-made um, disasters. Despite these challenges, since 1995, the Puerto Rico Ornithological Society has done an outstanding job sharing, acknowledge, raising awareness, and promoting the conservation of the birds in Puerto Rico and surrounding islands. We began as a small group of volunteers, mostly biologists, um, but over time, our membership has grown and became uh, more diverse. Um, that brings new ideas and people. From the very beginning, uh, SOPI was involved in activities for its members with the uh, participation on the Queen's Bird Count in 1995. Later, SOPI identified a need to create regular training workshops that help integrate our members and into bird monitoring and research. Since 2000, around 30 or more workshops have been given on the, in the um, identification of shorebirds, which I have to say, one of the most popular workshops every year. Some years we integrate in these workshops, um, like water birds, turns, goals, on some of the, on, on these workshops. The real benefit for SOPI and for us and for the birds, um, I'm showing here William and Lisandra is a great example. They start getting in love with birds in a shorebird workshop. Uh, they fell in with the birds and SOPI so much that they are very active on every activity we make. William now is the treasurer of the board, works with the membership program and Lisandra is the secretary of the board. She takes control now of the social media, sharing and getting in contact with questions. Like then we have many, many volunteers for years giving us their time to make workshops like this and SOPI a success. The idea of the Shortbird Workshops was to prepare volunteers for the new project then, the Shortbird Network or Red Limicola. Huge amount of data was collected on the year it took place. Now we are looking forward to making it happen again pretty soon. In 2017, we established our annual um, Shortbird Festival with average attendance for more than 600 persons. That's uh, including a lot of um, students. In February, like some of you already highlight, um, SOPI collaborated with Birds Caribbean to host a week-long international shorebird training workshop with more than 30 participants from around um, 15 islands. That took place at the Cabo Rojo um, um, South Flats, which is a Western Hemisphere Shorebird Research Network site. Okay, sorry. Another popular workshop definitely is the Warbird Workshop. In 2012, I want to highlight that because we had our first international workshop in SOPI, um, at least uh, for the warblers. Um, we had just one con we, we country with, with us, yes, but that counts, uh, with participants from Dominican Republic. Uh, they became now uh, regular visitors from, from their country to our workshops, especially um, the warbird workshops. And of course, uh, every year, SOPI is an active participant of the, of the Caribbean Endemic Bird Festival and World Migratory Bird Day, delivering activities in schools, shopping centers, universities, and TV shows that reach thousands of children and adults. We incorporate on, on the activities, the bird photo competitions. We always look for ways to reach the young ones, like building personalized Caribbean Martin nests for our project we, um, it took place in Tortuguero Lagoon in the north part of the island in collaboration with the Department, the Department of Environment, Environmental and Natural Resources. We did uh, and we do call, um, photo exhibitions in public places and bird talk like this one in Plaza del Caribe Mall in Ponce, which I believe is the second largest shopping mall here in the island. And that attracts a lot of people and um, and uh, gave us in, um, contact a lot of new members there. And of course, bird walks. We try to do what we call bird watching flocks 
o bandadas para, uh, de observación de aves, whenever a volunteer has the time, without a doubt, this is a great moment to share with the other members and make new friends while we see what we love. El Bien Te Veo, uh, this is the way we connect and communicate with our members uh, and the general public. It is our um, official publication. You can visit and see um, um, issues from 2001 in, in issue.com or you can go through our webpage, um, sopi.org and look for what happened in the past and it's very, very interesting. There are organizations uh, with a high level of attractions, islands and wide, uh, such as Casa Pueblo in Adjuntas. They celebrate every year uh, this festival, the, the Regreso del Julian Chibi, um, for many, many years. And for us, it's a great, great pleasure uh, to support them and in the great work of educating about birds and nature in general and the protection of our environment like they do uh, for many, many years. The National Wildlife Federation is helping us getting involved in national discussions and getting stronger and growing as organizations. Um, good things are coming from, the, from this um, um, relation soon, so that will be uh, another topic for another presentation. Just stay tuned. Being involved with BirdLife International, which named 20 IBAs here in Puerto Rico, helped us create database that allowed us to have the tools to achieve the protection of our birds and their habitats. One example, um, speaking of IBAs, we have been fighting against economic influences for the protection of our great wetland that is Caño Tiburones. A group of volunteers and friends of SOPI have helped this, in this fight. They have visited the capital seeking for support, uh, support from legis legislators and have been even held public demonstration to let them know how they feel about our resources like this wetland. Ella Cruz has been together with the environmental lawyer, Mr. Sade, who have tirelessly spoken in court in, and, and in the press about this issue. Interviews on TV programs educating about the importance of wetland such as, uh, as Caño Tiburones. And in the same line, we focus a lot on the World Wetlands Day to educate on TV and social media about the importance of those very valuable resources. Back to collaborations, one that we are proud to be always together is, para, is with Para la Naturaleza, uh, with whom we manage the Puerto Rico eBird.org platform, allow us for studies such as important bird areas, red limicola, Caribbean water birds, census and assessing the impacts of Rekin Maria and Irma and Maria in 2017 on our birds. Yeah, Maria, hard to get back and remember not just the, that day, but the following year. Um, in SOPI, even on, on those hard times, we got back on track helping our communities and our birds. Thanks for all volunteers who gave they, their time, resources, and even money to make this happen. We help our birds too, not, not just with the uh, hummingbird feeders, um, but giving uh, and always welcome support to the Puerto Rican Charging Hawk Project. Um, there will be a talk about that, I think, if not today, it's tomorrow. So um, please go by and, and, and check this out. It's a great project and they're making a great progress. And what's next for SOPI? Well, how, um, the, the culture changes uh, a lot in the recent years uh, here in Puerto Rico. The awareness of birds is bigger every day here. We are working behind the scenes, making SOPI now even stronger. One of the many things coming is an online course, Introduction to Bird Watching in Puerto Rico, and a series of videos of the breeding hotspots and mo the most visited breeding sites in the island. We are getting ready to get back on shape our own Puerto center. Uh, which is like soppy, may look small, but it's an example of what volunteers can do for what they love in a place so diverse like soppy, where everyone feels every activity like home. 
Uh, I want uh, to thank the now for Select Puerto Rico as the host for this event. Unfortunately, this <laughs> didn't happen. Uh, when all this is finally gone, please visit us. Our birds and our people will welcome you all, all of you. And thanks again uh, to all SOPI members, to collaborators, volunteers, all the organizations that in one way or another help us to um, uh, um, in, the, in the last 25 years. Thanks to Birds Caribbean for hosting this uh, symposium, letting us show the world that we are, what we are capable of. Uh, thanks on behalf of our SOPI board. New things are coming from SOPI soon. So again, stay tuned. And thank you again. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks, Gabriel, for this fantastic presentation. And as you said, Puerto Rico was getting ready to host this big meeting. It's too bad that we couldn't host it. But Gabriel was in charge of organizing the field trips and he was ready to, to receive so many people. So if you're still interested, hopefully next year you can come visit. Uh, there is a question for you, Gabriel, from Mark yes. Overly. Could yes. you expand on plans for the Soapy Club Building Nature Center at Bosque Cambalache? Uh, I heard you not well. Let me read the question. Okay, let me repeat it. Could you expand on plans ah, okay. for the, the building of the Soapy Club Nature Center at Bosque Cambalache? Yeah, well, before the hurricane, we had what, what we had there it was um, education, you know, um, information for visitors. We help activities and we co manage. Um, we have an agreement with the government to help with the management of the forest. After the hurricane, things got a little hard and, and we kind of get away a little bit from that. But um, now we, we've been talking about getting back and putting it on shape, you know. Um, when things got uh, away and the hurricane passed, you, you need to repair things. So um, we're working on, on get back there and give some educational, and now with the pandemic, it will be a little, you know, di different to receive people. So we'll see what, what we're gonna do. Okay, thanks again. So thanks to all the attendees in this symposium on behalf of Birds Caribbean, we are very grateful that you were here with us, getting to know a little bit more our organization. You had a little bit of information from different groups, like the Media Working Group, the Water Bird Program, the Caribbean Endemic Bird Festival, and the work done by our colleagues in different islands. We are very happy to show you this important collaboration. And um, we are also inviting you to come again, join us this afternoon for the final part of this Island Treasure Symposium at 2 p.m. If there is, is there anything else that we might add, Lisa? Uh, yeah, just please come back at two o'clock for part three of this three-part symposium. And then also come to our Birds Caribbean meet and greet at four o'clock. I am bringing the Havana Club, and so please bring your favorite Cuban or Caribbean cocktail, and we will have a party. So hope to see everybody then. If there's any last questions, I think we do have a couple more minutes for questions or discussion. So for people that are still hanging around, if you've got a question, please put it in the Q&A panel. There was a question that we didn't have time before for Justin. If Justin, you can unmute, there was someone asking for, if you can explain more about the scope of the different uh, manuscripts, like social interest too. Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yes, go ahead. Right. Yeah, so I did end up responding to that question, but yeah, we are totally, JCO is open to receiving uh, more social, uh, investigative papers, not a problem. I sent across a couple of examples and uh, over the last couple of years, we've gotten some good submissions along those lines. So feel free to read through those and get an idea of, of what we published, but yes, absolutely. Good. Anything else? Well, 
So, and any other question? Well, let's see, something, one just popped up in the Q&A. Uh, does Sophie still do the Shorebird ID workshops? Gabrielle. Oh, yes, yes, um, we do. Oh, sorry, now I'm here. Um, the question is, are we still doing it? Yeah, so for example, what's going to happen this year? Usually you do it every September, like around World Shorebird Day. Are oh, you going yeah, to do yeah. anything this well, year? Well, yeah, like, like everyone, we're doing these uh, virtual um, workshops. Um, we have the presentation ready. We just need to, to put the, 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 the date online to uh, promote it. But um, that, that is said, and so we're going to do it um, a, a virtual workshops. And we'll figure out how to do it, uh, you know, on the field, but um, we still need to figure out how, how to do it. Yeah, it's challenging, all right. At least, at least here, you know, uh, parks um, are open and the shorebirds areas are open, so we can go right. by ourselves and, and, and take a look on shorebirds around. Yeah, and maybe take small groups out birding with masks and socially distancing. Better. Yeah, yeah, that's... Probably. Okay. Thanks to all, all our panelists again, Justin, Jessica, Emma, Eduardo, Shelda, and Gabriel. Yeah, thanks guys. Super job. Thank you. And we will enjoy the rest of the conference and we hope to see you all back here at two o'clock today. <laughs>